Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. There are a lot of breaking changes, new changes in Angular 17 that every developer must know. We'll continue as part of our learning. This is part 33 of the series. We are learning about Angular pipes today. Alright, a lot of you have been writing to me asking how do you support our tutorials. Obviously, you can like, comment, share and subscribe. If you like, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. If you need any tech support or training for your job or projects, write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. Thank you. Alright, if you haven't checked out the first awesome 32 episodes in Angular 17, make sure that you check them out. This is all free. A lot of these are costly on Udemy, Coursera and other uh, platforms. You will see these courses are extremely costly. Please do not buy them. I am here and I will cover everything you need to learn and master Angular with me. Alright, let's start with Angular 17 pipes. <coughs> so what are pipes? pipes in angular are used to transform data in the template all right so mostly you will see that pipes are used in templates okay now why are they used so that you can modify you can transform the data there are a lot of built-in pipes like date if you are working with date you can use the date pipe if you are using case sensitive like uppercase lowercase you can use that you can use currency pipe, you can use JSON pipe, you can use async pipe, percentage, decimal, all of these. These are built-in pipes. That means they are readily available for us to use. As Angular always supports developers in terms of creating our own custom pipes to handle specific transformations. We will learn everything, even built-in pipe, custom pipes and much more. But first, let's understand some of the features of Angular pipe. Angular pipes are of two types, pure pipe and impure pipe. Pure pipes means by default all the pipes are pure, which means they will only execute when the input data changes. Why? Because this will ensure there is good performance optimization. Whereas impure pipes, what they do is that depending on the logic, just by changing data every time it will trigger the change detection cycle that is costly in terms of performance and optimization so make sure whenever you write impure pipes you have a careful decision because it will affect on performance you can chain multiple pipes that means multiple pipes can be used together you can also parameterize the pipes which means you can send optional properties or data to a pipe in order to change the outcome. Standalone and module declarations, just like how we learnt about directives, pipes needs to be, can be declared as standalone and can be used within the same by writing it in the imports array. Okay, This is all you should know as part of theory about pipes. Just to recap, transformation logic is used, pipes are used to improve the transformation and modify the template. There are built-in pipes, there are custom pipes. All right, that's all you should know. Now, in the next episode, I will do a detailed code for built-in pipes. Please write to me if you have any doubts. Please do like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Thank you so much. Next episode, we start writing built-in pipes codex hands-on example thank you